Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to talk you through some of the branding items that I have for my small brand. It's been about a year since I've started my small brand and I often get asked about where I get labels and like thank you cards and boxes and everything like that. Um, so I thought I'd just sit down and explain it all to you. I'm sorry if the lighting is having a little bit of a hissy fit, but the sun keeps coming and going and I thought it'd be nice to film in my studio for this video. So we'll just have to put up with some random, random light. <laughs> my sun's come out now. <laughs> Make up your mind. So I have a big stash of all of my items next to me and I'm just gonna get started, show you all where I buy them from. None of this video is sponsored. Um, I don't get discount or anything from any of these shops. Um, just in case you wanted to know, but for some of these, brands it's really helpful to have the honey app because you can get discounts on it through there and i've managed to get discounts somehow <laughs> on um, some of these websites so sometimes it's worth it it doesn't always work for all of them though let's start with thank you cards i like to put one of these in every parcel i send out um, and they just have a little thank you message on the back and my logo on the front. And the best website I've found for printing these are Moo. A really good website, they're so reliable. Once they printed some stickers out slightly wrong, um, well, it was my fault actually because the, um, the format that I was working in was wrong. You're meant to work in CMYK on Photoshop for their system to look exactly how it does on your computer or as close as it does on your computer to printing. So that's another handy tip is always to work in CMYK if you're going to get things printed because that's what most of these places work with. Such a nice thickness. I had some test trial ones printed somewhere else recently and they were just super flimsy and not, not up to scratch. So I go back to Moo time and time again because they're just, just perfect. Then from the same company Moo I get my stickers printed from there. I have also tried printing stickers from another brand and that has also not gone perfectly to plan. Um, but Moo just, their like formatting of everything is just so nice and simple. Um, so yeah, I have some little stickers and you can add quite a few designs. Mine look something like this and they're in a really lovely glossy finish and just such good quality. You can also break them off um, so it's got like a perforated edge here and here, so you can put them in the parcel if you want without sticking them on. Um, so yeah, just really great stickers. While we're on the topic of stickers, I also had some printed from a different brand. I feel like this is Vista print and they're pretty nice. I put these on um, boxes. Oh. How much point giving that one? I like to put these on the larger boxes or just on any other boxes if I haven't decorated them already. Next up, we have swing tags. And only recently I've had these printed um, because I used to make them myself, but I thought, you know what? It doesn't look super professional anymore. I'm gonna get some printed. And I got these printed from, I think this is a German brand. Um, I think if you pronounce it in English, it's like wonder label, but in um, German, it would be wonder label, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but for some reason, I didn't check the size of these and they turned out to be tiny. So um, I kind of love how cute they are in that they are super tiny, but I really thought they would be bigger than this. But they are a really nice quality. They've got a nice silky finish to them. Swing labels are super expensive though. Everywhere I looked, I couldn't find many affordable versions. And then I purchased these tags from eBay, which are just these sort of string-like tags. And they just go through the tag and around my label and yeah, sit on there. And then people know the care instructions of the garment and they can keep hold of this as a little memory the garment. This sort of thing happens a lot with having a small business. If you go wrong for some reason or if something just isn't quite how you like it, you often have to just run with it because most of these brands don't take refunds or reprints unless they've messed up on their end. So yeah, I just took it as a happy little accident that they're extra small. <laughs> they're 
they're kind of cute though. I also used to use this string for the string part of the tag, um, but now I prefer to use the proper little clip ones because they look more professional really. I'm going to move on to fabric labels now, so the ones that I actually put inside the garments. And I'm pretty sure the name of the brand that I get them from is called Bags of Love. And again, they've got super easy online um, portal where you can put your design in and you can clearly see it. I would say be wary if you're wanting a coloured background because their colours are a bit iffy. Whereas I just tend to go for a white background with these because it's safer and I like the look of it. I started using them in uni um, and I just carried on using them. I really like them. Sometimes they do um, have marks on the labels at the end where they cut them. And if that happens to you and they're really obvious, then I would contact them straight away because I contacted them too late once and they were like, well, can't do anything about it. Whereas they said if I'd have contacted them earlier, then they'd have sorted it out, but oh well. These ones aren't too bad for it. So this is my main label that I have inside my garments and it comes in a really nice satin finish and it just looks to me really polished and different inside a garment because most of my fibers that I use and my fabrics are very natural and cotton. I like the contrast of something quite unnatural next to it and I use a close zigzag stitch to attach them down the sides into a garment um, and they just look really nice. I think and they're nice and soft they don't irritate the skin you can get them printed in a load of different sizes so these ones I had printed when I made my bags so they are little square corner ones quite big actually um, and I had two different colors printed on each side so this one was meant to be pink but it's turned out pretty beige um, that's what I mean when I say be careful with your colors in this website because it's a bit off and I really want to make some more bags but I'm just trying to think of the best way of doing it at the moment. This next item may just look like a piece of blank A4 paper but it's actually saved so much time and so much frustration um, but basically I don't know if you can see on the back it's got a sticker in one corner and I use Royal Mail to send my parcels out and I don't have one of those fancy machines that prints out your labels and links up to your website because at the moment I just don't have the demand or like the the level of orders to need one um, and I quite like just entering it all myself and sending it off that way so these just go in your printer as usual and then print out and the sticker up here peels off and you just stick it onto your parcel it's so much easier let's move on to packaging the first thing is very boring but very helpful and that is brown paper tape this stuff not only blends in to cardboard, but it's obviously best for the environment and it just generally looks so much nicer. It's not that much more expensive. I get mine from Kite because you can get about six for however much. I can't remember how much it was, but yeah, it's a good thing to buy in bulk because otherwise it can get expensive. I do have a feeling that I saw this in Hobbycraft the other day, not from the brand Kite, but this sort of brown paper tape. So you can get it pretty much anywhere. Then tissue paper. Oh my goodness. What a mission tissue paper is to find. <laughs> so I had some really nice peachy pink tissue paper for a while and the supplier that I use no longer stocks it. And it was just someone on Etsy, um, but they do do it on eBay, but it's gone up by so much money. So I started using just plain old white tissue paper and you can get it from literally anywhere and there's lots of good online shops that sell it in bulk but yeah i've had some really annoying tissue paper deliveries in the past where they're literally just all scrumpled up or ends are looking horrible and it's very annoying i have looked into custom printing tissue paper a few times but it's so expensive it's like you're looking at about 100 pounds for i don't know how many sheets but that's just crazy money for tissue paper when you're looking at like 10 quid for that massive bunch. So yeah, I think custom printed tissue paper is only needed if your brand is like big and you're selling constantly and a lot 
um, and that's something that you really want for your brand. For me, I don't think tissue paper is that big of a deal. <laughs> if you really wanted personalised tissue paper and you don't want to spend a hundred plus pounds, you can buy a stamp with your logo on it, like a custom stamp, and just stamp all over the tissue paper. Another reason why white is the best tissue paper is because if the parcel for some reason gets wet, then it doesn't leak the dye of the tissue paper onto any of your products, um, because that has happened before. And it was very annoying. And then finally, we have my selection of boxes and packaging. <laughs> so the first one is a paper bag style mailer. I really love these ones. These are from Kite as well. And I picked up quite a few of these so that they were a lot cheaper in bulk. Um, but they're just really handy. They have about a two layer thickness, good mailers, and obviously they can be recycled at the other end. This box is also from Kite. They arrive like this and you have to put them together, which is fine, doesn't take long. Um, so this one is a really nice smallish size and it's really rigid and good quality cardboard. A lot of the ones that you pick up on Amazon or eBay can be really not very nice quality. Whereas um, every time I order from Kite, I am just so happy with everything and it's such good quality. And then the final size box I have is this very large box it folds out and folds into basically like an average size Amazon box, I'd say. <laughs> and it measures to the exact maximum size of a Royal Mail small parcel. So it's really handy to have if the order is kind of large, um, especially for Depop and things like that. So that's been really handy to have. And those were a really good deal actually on Amazon. And then recently I've been having a go at printing on boxes. Um, so this one is a black polka dot. My mum recently got some Indian block printing stamps and one of them is like a big circle and I thought that would look really nice on some packaging. So I've tried just putting it on my packaging, seeing which colours I like. I actually really like the pink and the white. I'm not so keen on the black actually. Um, so I think I'm gonna carry on with the pink and the white theme. So yeah, I've just sort of dotted it all over the cardboard box before I make it up. I could make this one up for you to show you how it looks. That won't take very long. That looks so cute. I love the way this turned out. I'm definitely gonna go and stamp a load more of my boxes now. Um, and they'll look really cute because I usually put like a little pink sticker at the bottom with my logo on it just here and then the postage goes here. Yeah, really lovely quality boxes and I'm glad I found a nice way of personalising them. As I mentioned with the tissue paper, you could always get a stamp made of your logo and you could just stamp it on the box somewhere. I still want to get a stamp made, but I just haven't got round to it. <laughs> so yeah, that's that box. So there you go, that is everything I use for the branding of my little small business. I'll make sure to link all of the websites I've mentioned in the description bar so you guys can go and check them out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions about running a small brand, small business, then feel free to comment below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.